Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at some signs, some of the world's worst signs. Signs made by human hands that should never have been made. And before we get into this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Also hit the bell so you get notifications. You know you got to do everything you can to get my notifications because YouTube does not like to recommend me to people that like me. I get those comments all the time of people that are like, why haven't I seen you in five years? I don't know. All right. I don't know. So let's just get into it. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Cat's eyes removed. Mice very happy. Oh, I get it. Are they talking about the plant cat's eyes? At first I was like, who's going around gouging cat's eyes out? Of course the mice are happy, but think about the cats. I guess that's what happens when you hunt mice for so long. Eventually they hire assassins to gouge your eyes out. I think someone added the mice very happy sign after someone put the cat's eyes removed. I see what happened here. I, I figured it out. Please remember your shopping bags. Wait, no. Please remember... Your shopping bags. Yes, you used the wrong your. So now this says, please remember, you are a shopping bag. Remember, when you're blowing through the wind and you're like, I can't get back on the ground. Why am I flying through the air? You're a shopping bag. That's why. Because you're a piece of plastic floating through the air. Sounds like a metaphor for something. Like, everybody's shopping bags, man. Trust me, we're all just made up of shopping bags. We're all just floating through life like a shopping bag in the wind. This caution sign defeats the purpose of a warning. I've never been so curious in my entire life. Caution, tomatoes. All right. It's true. Caution, tomatoes is like entrapment. You're going to be like, why should I be cautious of the tomatoes? Let me go look at these tomatoes. What's going on? Is this a screen grab from the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes movie? That's what I feel like. Are the tomatoes explosive? Are they poisonous tomatoes? Or do they just not want you to step on their tomatoes? Oh, I always end up with so many questions after these videos. Do not put pants on the frogs. What is all this writing on this? Do not put pants on the frogs looks like a legit sign, but what is all this gibberish writing in the bottom here? Shin on here, re can't cheer on the frogs' papers. All right, well, we just, we don't put f pants on the frogs, okay? That's a very specific sign. I feel like it's just for one person who's coming down there and they have a hobby of making tiny little pants and then putting them on frogs. And they're just like, we got to put a sign up because, you know, Steve is never going to stop putting those pants on those frogs unless we tell him not to. I mean, shit, maybe the frogs are cold and they want pants. I don't like this sign. It's too specific. Now I want to put pants on frogs. Push in all the way. Hold until balls release. Wait. Huh? Can we zoom out a little bit so I can see what this sign is attached to? It's not like attached to the back of a man, is it? I'm guessing it's a pinball machine? Yeah, alright, well don't bend over too far when you're playing that pinball machine, you know what I mean? You may get stuck up on behind someone's like, oh yeah, yeah, let me just stick a finger up here. Did your balls release? Attention, toilet only for disabled, elderly, pregnant children. Thank you for shopping with us. That's a very specific genre of toilet. So it's only for disabled, elderly, pregnant children. How can you be elderly and a child at the same time? We talking Benjamin Button kind of shit here? Only Benjamin Button can use this toilet? But he wasn't pregnant. And I don't think he was disabled. Unless you call aging in reverse disabled, which I think, yeah, probably. Oh, here's another sign. Toilet paper only. What? How the? Okay, there's a piano there. All right. Nobody's putting a damn piano in the toilet and trying to flush it. Or an umbrella. Did someone try to flush an umbrella? Oh, I know what happened here. It was a disabled, elderly, pregnant child. They just don't know how to use the toilets. That's why we have specific toilets for them. Max fart five. Is this also outside of a toilet? Max Fart 5. Is this supposed to be like a... Maybe the F and the M are supposed to be flipped. It's supposed to be like Fax Smart. Max Fart 5. All right, well, I'm gonna have to break the news to them that I often fart more than five times in a day. I don't want to get into too specific about the amount of times I fart, but I keep a very detailed journal of all my farts. Ooh, silent, but deadly. This one was loud but smelt like roses. This is just the perfect example of a world's worst sign. Okay, so it's either $10, $15, or $16. Did you write them all on there? Maybe just get a new piece of paper. That'd be better. Yeah, it's a make your own price. Yeah, you did a shit job. You just, all you had to do was write down a number 
and you wrote too many numbers in one spot. Pick up your dog shit. You know who you are. Don't be a fuckface. Sincerely, God. Oh, whoa. Hey, if God comes after you to pick up your dog's poop, then you do it, all right? If God duct tapes a sign to a tree, you know who you are. I never understand it. You know, I understand every once in a while a dog poops and you forget to pick it up or you don't notice that your dog poops. It happens. But if you're regularly going, like we all see these spots where there's literally you can tell that someone walks their dog there every day and then just leaves it there. And it's so annoying, especially in a residential neighborhood. Like these aren't hiking paths. All right. We're walking down sidewalks here. And if you don't have a bag on you, sure, it happens. Then you know, go home, drop your dog off, drive back with a bag and pick up- Come on, people. Beware of Larry. That's good advice. Who's Larry? Anyone with the name Larry, you should be- <laughs> Beware of Larry's. Everywhere, okay? Sorry if your name's Larry, but I am not gonna be your friend. I don't know, there's just something about a Larry. They're just unpredictable. Beware of Larry. Where does Larry live? Can we get some more specifics here? Like an address, or is Larry just like perched on the top of that phone pole like, yeah, <laughs> don't go that way. That's where Larry, that's where Larry's bird's nest is. You're not allowed to do anything, nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Please do not place your genitals in the chocolate fountain. Well, what are you supposed to put in the chocolate fountain? The frig? This one looks photoshopped. Yeah, that's photoshopped. All right, nobody's putting their genitals in that chocolate fountain. In fact, I might have to go up and put my genitals in a chocolate fountain just so someone will really make this sign, specifically for me. Oh, here's a couple eclipse signs. This one was changed to no stopping on highway to view eclipse. I guarantee people still did it. Yeah, you know what? The thing about humans is they don't like to listen to rules. And this one, DQ, it's eclipse, not apocalypse, relax. There's probably a lot of people that were just like conspiracy theorists buying up all this shit like, this is it, this is the day. Okay, what's what's next on the calendar? Uh, all right, yeah, a week from Thursday, the sun is gonna pass as close as it's ever been to Earth, so that's gonna be the next time I'm gonna think the world's gonna end. The secret of happiness is hot. Okay, we know the secret of happiness starts with T. The secret of happiness is te tears of joy, tits. No, that's only gonna be the secret to happiness for some people. Fill in the blank down here. Let's do a Mad Lib, okay? The secret to happiness is... And then you, you fill in the blank. See, it's fun. Leave a comment. Yeah, please. Maybe I'll use the best ones in my next video. Maybe. No crime, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Are you saying that no crime is allowed between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m.? The thing about criminals is they don't like to listen to rules. We were just going over this. Humans don't like to listen to rules. Or is it saying like, no, guaranteed, don't worry, there's no crime here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm telling you, it never happens. But you know, 6 p.m. rolls over, stabbed. Trust me. I want to see the rest of the sign. What is the rest of the sign? I feel like context is being cut out here. Now hiring cashier. Weekends. Must be 21 plus. Applications available inside. Cannot look anything like Skeletor from He-Man. What? That's so specific. So you definitely just fired someone who looks like Skeletor from He-Man. Or someone keeps applying for the job that looks like Skeletor from He-Man. And that's why they're like, now, no, you need to be 21 plus. Because it was probably some 16 year old wore a Skeletor cosplay to his first day on the job. And he thought, oh. Oh yeah, everyone's gonna love this, but they didn't. That's so specific. If I have to ever send out a resume, I'm gonna start adding that in. Like, does not look like Skeletor. Not a crackhead. For fresh breath. Oh, that's entrapment. Ocean breeze, refreshing shampoo. And you know I'm just gonna keep drinking it and drinking it. I'm not gonna realize it's shampoo until it's completely gone. And let's end with this one. Sometimes I think to myself, do I really want a beer? And then I remember there's a super volcano under Yellowstone that is 40,000 years overdue. And when it erupts, it could potentially cover most of North America in ash and create a volcanic winter that kills half the world population. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take a beer. All right, well, I just became an alcoholic. These are the facts I don't want to know. I don't want to know about all the things that could kill us. It's like whenever they say... Like, did you know that, like, there's this thing in this other country that, like, if someone drops a leaf on it, it's gonna blow up and the whole world's done? Like, why are we so sensitive? Why is everything so finicky on Earth? <laughs> well, that just ruined my day. All right? Now I'm terrified of volcanoes. And I didn't need that fear, all right? I didn't need that fear in me. Now I gotta go fight a volcano just to get the fear out of me, and I'm not gonna win a fight with a volcano. That's not gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification thing. Yeah, and check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks, and uh, go get yourself some fluffy merch. I think I'm gonna come up with something new this month. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know.
Maybe not. Check it out. Go get yourself some fun merch. Lots of fun stuff over there now. And I will see you again soon. Come up to your screen. Come here. <gasps> Boop. Bye.